and we'll use the results of this analysis to determine the pretension in the cables. So load analysis uh, sorry results load combination. Here we'll create the first load combination one with all the load cases. Attention two. Okay. Now we'll use the function um, special for the cables, so which is called the unknown load factor. Um, add new. Call it unknown. So it is a method using optimization technique. Use the square method. Uh, the Unknown will be uh, both the sign, okay. Select all and uncheck the self width and the additional load. So you see here the factors for uh, the tension 1, 2, 3 until 20 are the unknowns. Now we'll enter the constraints. So the constraints will actually uh, be will actually define the the constraints for the optimization and using these constraints the software will automatically calculate the factor uh, for the press stress of the cable so we'll begin by the node 23 reaction um, it will be displacement Okay, dz inequality check and enter the upper and lower boundary. Okay, and do the same for all the nodes until the nodes uh, forty five. And uh, exclude excluding the node 35 because it was deleted when we merged the node at the beginning. Again, as it is a bit uh, inconvenient to do all that, I will use the MCT shell. Okay. Click on OK. Um, go in the tool, MCT shell. This time the comment is uh, NKCOMS. Insert the data. And we have to copy these. until 45 and suppress the node 35 Click and run. So click and close. Now come back into uh, the result tab. Unknown load factor. Modify. And you see all the nodes have been added uh, here automatically. Now check all these nodes. And click on get unknown factor check the influence matrix 
and here in the constraint part you have all the coefficients uh, which have been determined by uh, the uh, optimization technique so actually there's a method to um, there's a method to tune the cable force uh, using this screen so you can define all the tension oh yes first you have to um, go back in this window make a new load combination so it will be LCB2 okay then cable force tuning Here you have all the tension uh, entered, and in this uh, window here, we'll create a new uh, result. So, um, if you want to tune in function of the deck moment, you have to uh, create here. So here I have no uh, uh, group for the deck, so. I will close that, come back to model view and create a new structural group. So it will be the deck. Now select the element from the deck and drag and drop this to add this element to this group. Now come back to cable force tuning. deck moment use um, okay, beam beam force fz element dz added here and you see you have the deformation of um, so this is the moment of the deck you can define a uh, range so um, between let's say thousands and minus thousands okay um, and you can tune the cables in order uh, for the moment to stay inside this uh, area So if you change the here the area is a bit big, but uh, let's say you want 500 and minus 500 like that. You see at this range the moment is a bit too uh, big, so you can tune the cables. Uh, you can change the value and it will change in real time. So you have to. Uh, you have to uh, choose the right values and to to try uh, with different values to see uh, what is working but it's not the purpose of this tutorial today so i will just close this uh, we have we will have more uh, advanced tutorial on this subject uh, later so don't forget to subscribe to uh, my youtube channel to, to follow the next tutorial on this subject. Now I created a new load uh, which is uh, using these uh, calculated pretension loads. So uh, you have to calculate again the results. So come back in this mode, analysis, perform analysis, and if you go in the uh, deformation window, different shape, you can select uh, the LCB2 uh, deformation, activate uh, undeform legend values apply okay uh, 
So let's review the DZ deformation. So you have something like that. Hide the nodes and the elements. Hide the value of deformation. So this is the deform shape on the bridge. If you want, you can decrease the deformation scale factor. You can see all the results like the displacement control. Okay, so here you have the value of the displacement. Um, next step will be um, to show you how to perform the construction stage analysis for this cable state bridge. Um, so this tutorial will be for next week. So don't forget to subscribe to uh, the channel in order to follow uh, next week's tutorial about the construction stage analysis of this cable state bridge. Thank you for watching.